no video game is perfect. That's an undeniable fact. Whether a game was released 10 days ago or 10 years ago, there's always going to be some sort of a problem associated with it, no matter how large or small. Now, you may love a specific game and love almost everything about it, but there's always going to be something that someone can point out that can be fixed or changed to make the player experience just that much better. And of course, Rainbow Six Siege is no exception to this rule. There's always going to be problems in Siege, and the team is pretty good at fixing it, but again, things happen. But today I'm going to be asking the question, does bashing the game help it or actually hurt it in the long run? Now let me quickly gloss over what I mean when I say bashing the game. The community has come together over the past few years of Rainbow Six being out, and we have implemented a lot of changes, come up with a lot of suggestions, and the team takes these things into consideration. But I'm not specifically talking about the good and positive things that we come up with. I'm talking more about the people that are posting and they want these things changes in a hate-filled and rage-filled manner. So again, not talking about, oh, I think this needs to be changed, but more so when people are are posting things and it is very anger filled and you can see that that they are extremely angry about a situation now while I don't think everyone has completely ill intentions when they're posting something like that I can see why some of them would post things like that for instance if you get killed by someone doing a glitch and it happens very often whether it was the Jaeger shield glitch or the blitz glitch all of these things are in the game and are huge problems with it and while some of these things have been taken out, some of them still exist in the game. But does us posting about that and being completely rage-filled actually help the game? Or does it hurt it just a little bit more? I mean, you get the word out there, yes, you're letting people know that this is a problem, but some people will take advantage of that and abuse the glitch while it exists. I think the answer to the question is more so yes, it does help, but I think we should just be a little bit more positive about it. I've had my fair share of run-ins with people who do glitches, this or that, and a lot of different methods that I don't necessarily agree with, but I have never once posted, or at least I don't believe I have posted anything, in a completely rage-filled manner where I start saying that this game sucks, the Rainbow Six team is fucking garbage, and everything in between. I think if you want to bash the game in terms of criticizing it, but also offering some sort of a fix to it or just putting that information out there I think that is completely okay but once you start bad mouthing the game itself and you start bad mouthing the developers I don't think they're necessarily gonna take what you say into consideration when we come together as a community we can get things done I mean we got Tachanka buffed after making him a complete meme and look at what we did to that honestly it was Kind of impressive to see that a community making a meme out of an operator no one really used. He got a buff, and he's better now. Still not the best operator in the game, but at a better place than when he was. But if we're complaining about something, and it's a huge problem, but we're constantly talking shit to the developers, are we really going to be helping out in the long run? I think we need more positive-filled criticisms of the game offering some of these fixes, but if it's something that is literally just a glitch that the team has to figure out how this works internally... I can understand where that rage is coming from. In the long run, I think criticizing the game does help, but if it's doing it in a rage-filled manner, I don't think that's really a benefit to the team. Are they really going to take what you say into consideration if you are saying that they are horrible developers? I think they're going to listen more to the people that are very calm and they love the game, they know we love the game, and they're going to take what those people say into consideration more so than the people that say, this game is fucking garbage, I'm uninstalling, this and that. Well, tell me what you guys think. Do you agree with the statement that bashing the game necessarily doesn't help it in the long run? It may get some things fixed, I'm not going to deny that. It definitely has implemented some changes that were well needed for the game, but is being more positive about things and offering these criticisms in a better manner the better option? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this room. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!